let's talk about the basic type tools in uh, Photoshop. Um, we'll go right here to um, our type tool and it looks and feels very similar uh, to the other Adobe programs, Illustrator and InDesign and um, basically works like word processing does as well. So I'll click on the tool, come over to my canvas and I will simply click it and I will start to type and um, and then I can highlight it, wipe it as we often uh, call it and uh, just to make it uh, larger quickly I'm going to use the uh, shortcut which is um, in all the Adobe programs command shift that would be control shift on a PC and my more than less than keys over next to the M that's one of the ways that we can enlarge or reduce our text and uh, so there you have it and um, again I can highlight it and our basic tools for the type style um, the alignment uh, color and some of the other things are available right up here as um, always in the options bar and you can see these things here um, here the little color swatch is where we can set the color of the text so we can click on that with the text highlighted we can click on that and we can change the color as you can see and uh, then we um, have that taken care of. We can also um, bring up um, the character dialog box which has more tools uh, for manipulating our type and we can get the character dialog box from several places again typical of the other Adobe programs. I can either come over here um, if it's in my little palette icons over here here you see it the A the character dialog box. If it's not visible there, we can go up under window and there's the character dialog box. And we can also um, access it from right up here um, in the options bar under the word help. We have this little tool here and by clicking it, it brings up the uh, character uh, dialog box and uh, then we can uh, mess with the uh, the size and again um, we can change the color right here we have the size we have the letting remember that's the space between lines of text learn more about these things in typography we can manipulate um, the text um, we can extend it and condense it um, we can do baseline shift um, and we can control the kerning and the tracking of the text from uh, the character dialog box as well. So we have um, a lot of different uh, standard typographic tools. Also, going back up here to the um, options bar, we have this um, the type warp tools. Again, very similar to Illustrator. Here are the T with the little, uh, almost looks like a little sad mouth face here. We can click on that and it brings up the tool that lets us manipulate the, the shape and the look of the text. And um, we can come in here and further uh, manipulate it with uh, these tools right here. Okay. And then we can say okay. Um, I'll just uh, go to the move tool and deselect it and there you see our type okay then we also have another feature that is in the last couple of versions of uh, Photoshop which is really nice which is um, allows us to do a paragraph of text and we get the text tool and we click and drag to make a text box instead of just immediately typing we create a text box and then we can um, come in here and uh, type away. And when in the past, the old versions, you wanted a, um, a block of text in a paragraph type format, it would, you would type it on, and it would be one long line of text. 
and then you'd have to manually hit the hard return. But now that you have this text box, um, you can manipulate the text box just like you do the line length of text in um, a page layout program. You see, I just, with the text tool, come over here to the right side and pull this little bar and I can change the shape of the paragraph and it'll flow um, with that. And so that's um, a really terrific um, uh, tool to uh, make working with um, paragraph text uh, much easier in uh, Photoshop. We also, as with all the Adobe programs, we have, I'm going back over here to the type tool, um, we have uh, the uh, variations on the, the type tool where we can um, have text move vertically, which is what this is here, okay? And we can also do some masking things um, with uh, uh, type uh, as well. And um, those are pretty nifty. Um, one of the other things that I want to point out is that when we um, have text, anytime we uh, create some text in Photoshop, it automatically goes on to its own layer. And uh, it will automatically be named literally whatever the text is. You can see the one I did here with my name is literally what it is labeled as and then the other one with the googly gop that I typed just a second ago. But also notice that there's actually a T in the little icon uh, box and that tells us that it's type that can be manipulated and changed and edited etc. Um, there is also um, at times you may want to um, and depending on some of the tools that you're using you may need to rasterize your type. Rasterize your type. Now what that means in plain English is that the text will still look like the words. It's um, similar to doing outlines in Illustrator whereas um, it has the same shape um, and look but it will no longer be editable. Basically in Photoshop it just becomes a bunch of pixels in the shape of the text. So you can't change the spelling, you can't change the, um, uh, the type style, etc. Um, but um, it has a couple of advantages as well. Number one, if you open this file on another machine, you won't have to worry about um, uh, the machine wanting you to have the same font uh, loaded if you decide to make any changes. And, um, and that can be um, pretty useful. But again, from time to time, you'll go to do something, add some effects, and um, Photoshop will automatically give you a dialog box that you can't run that filter or you can't do that effect on the text until you rasterize it. And to do that, you can just go up under um, the, uh, uh, the layer menu with the text highlighted, and you see right here, rasterize type. Okay? And um, this is uh, the easiest way. And watch what's going to happen. When we rasterize the type, we are no longer going to see a little T, uh, a little T in the um, preview here. And um, you see, uh, it's hard to see, I realize. But now, just like um, other images, um, what I can see on my screen here is uh, just a little preview of the type um, as if it's in fact it is a graphic now and so the T that was in the little icon box has gone away and now it's just a, a, a graphic with uh, in the shape of uh, your type that you set and um, I think that pretty much covers the basics of the type tools uh, similar to uh, the other Adobe programs, as well as uh, working in a similar way to um, the way we expect from word processing and that kind of thing.